Hey guys, Captain Gaptron here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Sly 2, and I got distracted. I hope he's not gonna get a whole lot. Okay, he didn't re or get any attention. I'm sorry, I'm a little distracted. What we're gonna do real quick, we're gonna head back to the safe house, but we're, what we're gonna do is pick up this thing. Now, these things are scattered throughout the uh, level. Yeah, basically, you've got three or four of these in every level, and each one will let you try to sneak it home so you can sell it, make some money. And it the same rule applies to these things. That if you, you know, if you get hit or gain any damage in any way, if you fall in the water or something on the way back to the safe house, you lose the item and it's uh, no good. You lose it. Done. And I can't actually remember right now if you can actually try these things again if you fail or not. I think some certain ones you can certain ones you can't. I don't remember. But we got it back here. Okay, let's head to the thief net because we're going to be... Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're going to go ahead and buy a Fist of Flame. We're going to buy it later. But we're going to go play as Bentley right now because... And, uh... Let's equip this real quick because we're going to... I don't know necessarily that we need it. Okay, now the fun gizmo that Bentley has, if you go to his scope, you have a little sight here. And here the R1 button. Drop a bomb, and this is Bentley's stealth kill. It's not incredibly stealthy, but it's a one-hit kills kind of thing. But Bentley's got all kinds of fun toys. I like it. Okay, we're going to go do that job with Bentley real quick. Uh, whew. Guys, I'm tired. It's 3.15 in the morning. Sorry, I had to turn around and look at the clock to see what time it was. Okay. I don't see any guards here. So I'm assuming they're not here right now. That's weird. Oh, well. Alright, we're inside the casino, man. Well, I don't know if this could... No, this is the nightclub area Okay Bentley, to get past the laser vents, you'll need to blow it up. Press the triangle button to drop the bomb and then get out of the way before it explodes. Already did that. Now Sly's being the mumbler. <clears throat> so yeah, this is how you Bentley takes out the big guards, you know. Since he doesn't have the strength of the others, you know. All right, let's see what we're doing hey, here. Bentley. How you holding up out there in the field? Fine, fine, I'm just fine. I just need to bob all the pillars supporting that disco ball and I can get out of here. What's with taking out the disco ball? Its impact will shake the nightclub's front peacock sign loose from its morning. Look, I can't talk now, I've got to keep moving, keep safe. <laughs> He's so scared. <laughs> all right, so yeah, if you go over here and put a bomb next to each of these pillars, that are supporting the disco ball. That'll do the job, and it's pretty simple. These guards, you have to dart them before you blow them up, because if you don't, it's just gonna it's just gonna send them flying for a bit, and they're gonna come back. Okay, now that his R2 gimmick. Is, ooh. That is not where I wanted that to go. I wanted it to get closer to this guy. But we're gonna take him out old fashioned way. Okay, now we gotta set one of these bombs here. Ooh, shoot. I didn't know if that was gonna attract that guard over there or not. I guess it did. I guess it didn't. Ooh, ooh. Run, Bentley! Okay, let's just be safe here. <clears throat> Take him out. Alright, that was three. Did I get the one over? Ooh, I didn't get the one over there. Let's go get it. 
So guys, pay attention to the music because I want to bring something to your attention here after I get this last pillar knocked out. I forgot it over here. Just a little game glitch they have here. So I don't know if it's a glitch or it's made on purpose. Because I actually found this by mistake one day. And I thought I messed up the game <laughs> when I was young. I thought I broke the game. That's what she said. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Okay, what I want to show you over here. Ooh, shoot, we can't, still can't land on the lasers. If you come over here to the DJ booth. Alright, I'm going to show you something fun. If you hit it, it's a new soundtrack that's playing right now. And it's the Dimitri remix or something. Basically what it is, is just Dimitri talking throughout the whole song. But, uh, anywho. So, yeah, it's just a fun little... Glitch. Anywho, alright, let's get out of here. And, uh... Do, 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 Tacos taste real good with enchilada sauce, and I like chicken wings, and it's gonna sing. I better stop before I embarrass myself. Alright. So we got that done and out of the way, and now we're just gonna head back to the safe house. And, uh... Change back here. Or change back, switch to Sly, I think. Yes, yeah, we gotta switch to Sly because he is needed for the next mission. And, uh, yeah. Let's just jump up there this way. Ooh, shoot, that gummit. Good thing I didn't catch his attention. Anywho. I might be calling it quits here pretty soon. I'm starting to get tired. Ooh, shoot. I gotta remember I can't jump and hit the circle button and land on ropes when I'm with Bentley or Murray, you know? I don't have anything to sell there. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I had a pretty massive dinner earlier. I think, honestly, I can't even remember what I had. There was a lot going on today. Which way am I headed? Uh, way over there, man. <coughs> oh, excuse me, y'all. So sorry. Anywho, yeah. So we're just gonna head over here. And uh, gee, I don't know what I don't know what to talk about now. See, I talked about moving. I talked about. Gee, I don't... I can't even remember everything I talked about. That was pretty quick. Little, uh... Doohickey right there. Okay, he doesn't have anything on him. I need to do some pickpocketing to get Murray's upgrade, but I'll just have to do that later. Let's just avoid this guy here. Okay, I know what we're doing. I know what we're doing. Oh, no, it's not that way. I have to go up here first. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. That's right. Okay, I remember where we're going, guys. I didn't forget everything. Anywho. Alright, let's go inside and see what kind of trouble we can get into here. Ugh. Alright. Sorry, Bentley, but those fans are spinning way too fast to walk on. They can be slowed down from this control panel, but you'll have to do a lot of pickpocketing to get at it. The guards are carrying special fragile <sighs> that will be destroyed <coughs> Make sure you pickpocket their keys before you take 
take those thugs out. To pickpocket guards. Yeah, I know how to pickpocket guards, Bentley. Come on, little guard, turn around. Ooh, he almost. All right. Ooh, wasn't close enough. You can't be too far away when you try to pickpocket. Up oh, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and take him out. Ooh, we got buku monies here, so I might be taking time to get money because it pays off in the long run actually getting all the money that you can. <coughs> Man, I should have got some water before I start getting real thirsty right now. Wow, buku coins. Maybe I'll do the mission first and then come back and do this later. On my way out or something after I call it quits on the episode. Sounds like a plan. Ah, oh. Munchie. Hey, hold on a second, guys. Okay. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. I was <coughs> getting a little <sighs> dry throat there and I really needed to go get a drink. Uh, can we speed this guard up at all? Because I'm begin becoming impatient. He's going to be turning around here real soon. Right there. I need to attack him. Ooh. I can't see. Yeah, I hear Dimitri talking there. But we're going to ignore what he's saying. I mean, we don't have to, but it's kind of hard to hear what he's saying sometimes when I'm smashing things. Just like this, you know? <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not drinking my usual drink. I'm drinking uh, good old water. Okay. We're going to go up here this time. Up the stairs here. Oops, I missed it. Right here. This is pretty funny here. Come up here to the catwalk kind of thingy here. And the next guy you have to steal the key from, he's sitting here. You're watching videos, movies. <laughs> this TV's just showing static. I don't know what he's trying to watch. Maybe a soap opera or something. I don't know. I don't do TV a whole lot. I mean, I kind of do, but not too much. A lot more now than I used to, that's for sure. But that's just simply because of the fact that uh, my girlfriend does a lot of watching TV. Alright, we got two more, and they're here. And they're, already, they're really right super close to each other. We're going to have to separate them somehow. And I think I know just the way to do that, but I'm going to have to really work at it here. Because I'm going to have to go hit an object or something to get their attention. Or just be far enough... Yeah, I did it. Oh, no, I got both of them. I was just trying to get one of them. And it totally didn't work. Because I can't get these guys' attentions in a way that's just going to make them... Oh, cool. The, well, the last one, the one I needed to get is last here. He moved to the back. That's great. Ooh. Ooh, that was close. I almost got hit there. Or hit him. Okay, that was a little too close for comfort there. Alright, let's... I, I can't rem... Well, I think... I guess it doesn't matter if you get hit or not. I can't remember. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, well, I'm not going to make a big deal about it. Anywho, alright, let's get over here and unlock the thing. The thing, the thing! Alright, here we go. So I've been watching some, uh, Let's Plays recently with Nintendo Capri Sun. There's some older recordings of his. Not necessarily older, but they're not new, you know. Of, uh, 
Let's Plays of stuff like, uh, shoot, what do you call it? Super Mario 64, or not Super Mario 64, Super Mario Brothers. What the heck? Oh. Yeah, Super Mario Brothers Let's Play. And it really made me want to do it. I mean, I don't have a Super Nintendo, but I can buy one. It's not going to be a problem. Ooh, those lasers. Or I could just try emulators, you know? Oh, God, it's the time for me to go to bed. Oh, I didn't know it was going to be going to the thingy here. I thought I was gonna have time to go back through the place and get some coins. Okay, fellas, that gummit. the dominoes are all in place. Time to pull off the big heist. First, Mari will help me break into the old water tower. From there, I should be able to shut down the plaza fountain. Dimitri's sure to send someone out to get the repair truck. Slot, you'll pickpocket the truck keys off this guy once he shows up. Then hand them off to me and Murray in the plaza. We'll go steal the truck while you climb to the top of the nightclub's peacock sign. When you're in position, Murray will fire the truck's winch line up to you and will use it to pull down the sign. If my calculations are correct, the impact should create an entrance to the printing press room. Then, Sly, you jump in, grab the clockwork tail feathers, and we all get the heck out of here. <laughs> all right, Bentley, sounds good. Yeah, I'm going to stop the episode here because I'm tired and I'm already pushing, what, 17 minutes here? <laughs> so, yeah. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching and I'm going to let y'all go and I will see y'all in the next episode, okay? Take care, guys. Bye-bye.